It's been far too long. Actually not. It's only been like a week or two. What are you doing, little curly bear? Yeah? So, this is Pixel Junk Monsters 2. I was a huge fan of the first title. Um, I put probably like 200 hours into the game. It's a real-time strategy game if you're not familiar with it. One of the best games ever, no doubt about it. Like, I was talking to the creator of Pixel Junk on uh, Twitter the other day, and I had told him, uh, like, the only reason that I kept the PlayStation 3 for so long and waited to get a second PS4 was because of Pixel Junk Monsters. Uh, it's just, it's amazing. It's so much fun. It's, it's like, it's almost got that same lore. Like, I don't know if you guys have played Mushroom Wars, um, Plants vs. Zombies. It's, I don't know. It's hard to explain. The hook has been set. It has, like, the look of... Kind of like a kid's game in a sense. Kind of like those other games I just explained, but it's it's actually a pretty difficult strategy game. Um, I've just started kind of delving into this lovely little bastard last night. Oh, wait, what are we doing here? Oh, what's up, buddies? Um, I've probably gotten through, like, four... No, 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 maybe like six different levels. Ooh, a bomby fruit. I haven't seen one of these yet. Yeah, I've gotten through like six different levels so far, but I'm just, I'm loving it. There's no other way to put it. Well, I put those towers in probably the worst spot imaginable. This is just like the perfect game too. Like if you're having a bad day at work and you want to come home and just chill out, like this is the game that you play without a doubt. Um, you need to finish these levels. Like you have 20 little brothers and sisters that you have to protect. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, uh, I can't remember what they call them, if they call them chibis. Um, you basically, you have to protect them, and if you lose all your chibis, you're effed. You lose the game. Yo, oh, this is such a bad spot. To, such a bad spot to put that cannon. This is the first time that I've actually played this level. Uh, if you make it through a level without losing any, then you're good. You get a rainbow, and X amount of rainbows will unlock a... Um, ooh. X amount of rainbows will unlock a another section of the map. Oh yeah, see, I'm gonna have to restart. I have to. I have to bad. Really, you're gonna drop this shit on me? Well, I don't know how we've been able to recover the way we have, but hey, you know what? It's all good. Probably actually go and tear some of these towers down. Actually, no, maybe we'll keep them where they're at. Oh, he's gonna go right around it. What a dick. What a bloody dick. Gonna try to get some of these uh, cannons set up. Bomb fruit. I'll put that right there. Protect my little chibis. Protect the bloody little chibis. These bloody little wankers. 
I know, my accent is pretty badass. It's pretty bad. I just made up a new word. Alright. See, we're uh, rocking the tennis gear for good effect today. I even got a wristband on. Because this game gets pretty effing intense. I'm just letting you know now. Shit gets real here in the world of Pixel Drone. It's a bloody mess, mate. A bloody fucking mess. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I guess for my first run and having a bad placement for the first couple of towers, it's not horrible. You know. Oh, they're taking a different path. They're taking a different path. It's so cool, like, some of the stuff that they added to, like, now the maps are three-dimensional instead of two-dimensional, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I'm totally digging how you can actually, like, put certain towers up on hills. And you don't have to go to the main base to unlock the different types of towers anymore. You just do it as you select them. Pretty sweet. Pretty bloody sweet, mate. This kind of has like a Mario feel to it too. Like when you jump, it makes like the little Mario noise. I'm digging that. That's pretty sweet. And you have like different things in the map that you can interact with. Another bomby fruit. Ooh, daddy like. What's this one? A hasty fruit. I don't know how to eat them though. Guys, go faster. I just don't bloody know. Oh, here. Let me uh, get these comments opened up. Do that while we're upgrading the tower. So, yeah, if uh, you've never played this. The towers, as you place them, they can go up to level 5, and you just stand in the tower and your guy will do like a little magic dance. Legends of Gaming, what is up my man? the first time I've ever had a legend in a live stream. <clears throat> so forgive me if I'm kind of shy. There we go. I'm digging this map. This is a pretty sweet map. Start getting this upgrade a little bit more. Actually, gotta get some of these. Uh... No, that's not a good spot.
Come on, boys. Yeah, I need this hive to start doing a little more work for me. I saw something too. Like if the monsters are... No! No! It's alright. We're gonna carry forward, finish this one up, see what is all to be expected. Okay, you know what? No. We're not doing it that way. We're gonna go in balls deep, blind, not knowing what we're getting ourselves into. We're just gonna go for it. We're just going for it. Whoa. Oh, this is another cool feature too, how you can actually zoom around a portion of the map while you're upgrading so you don't have to like leave a tower to go and see what's going on. Upgrading's like a super important part too, like I'm of the opinion, like I'm more of a quality over quantity kind of player if you know what I'm saying. Oh my god, really? Assholes are going right around. Yeah, like, I'd rather have, like, five jacked up, souped up, like, super fly towers <clears throat> as opposed to ten towers that are all, like, level one. my chibis. I could see this being a difficult map when it comes to the second difficulty. I think in the first game you had three difficulties and from what I've seen thus far you will have uh, two in this game. Too. You have like different variations of the characters like you did in the first one. These guys just have a lot more health. Seems like a pretty badass idea. Good reach. I also see now, like, instead of spending X amount of gems to just straight up unlock a certain building, you actually have, um, what do you call it? I 
Oh yeah, you have to spend that many gems each time you go and purchase one. I like the old way a little bit more, but I appreciate this way. Like, it makes it challenging. For show. Got a bomby fruit. I should actually go and start upgrading some more of those towers, but I'm just going to put up an air defense right hither. too shabby if you know what I'm saying what do we got here PSN killer yeah dude this game is tight man it, it was different at first like I didn't really know what to expect and I, and I tried to avoid watching videos and stuff of this game pre-release just to try to keep it you know as something new and fresh in my eyes um, and I'm glad I did I was just more or less hoping for like a in-depth expansion pack like something crazy thorough of the last game so I was a little like resistant to the changes at first and kind of like oh man but as I got it and played it now I'm in love with it like I was the first game I don't know, you know, it might wear off as time goes on, but, uh, I don't know. I dig it. Can you dig it? Oh, shit, actually. This is, uh, okay. I thought that one stone monster had full health still. Need to get that hive going. Oh yeah, and they have these little rocks right here, where you can actually push them down the hill. I totally forgot about that last time. Oh, I just need 40 more coins to get my hive. What about you, man? You playing it? And if so, what do you like? What do you not like? If you don't have it, are you gonna get it? You know, that type of deal. I love chanting with you guys. Keep that down here so I can actually upgrade it. And we're gonna go and put a cannon right here. Oh, dude. Yo, I forgot to show you. There's one huge feature this game put in that wasn't in the last one. Huge. I mean, like, mind-blowing. I'm going to show you in just a sec. Right here. First person. actually play this shit in first person. Oh, it's so tight, man. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to go here and uh, use this rock. Woo! That laser is doing work. Pretty huge, and I didn't have to use that laser even better. Yeah, dude, first person, man. It is so sick. Alright. Yo, and if any of you guys watch this after like it's already up on YouTube or whatever and you want to join up and do some multiplayer shoot me a friend request Sven S V E N dash D my apologies for the good old tobacco working on phasing that nasty nonsense out of our lives once and for all. Oh, these little fuckers decided they'd be sneaky. Thank god I got that thing up to level 4. Just gonna mow them down. Poor little fuckers, never even had a chance. Never even had a chance. These are the fire resistant dudes. Spiders, more flying guys. never even had a chance you know just for oh that's really okay yeah that's a good spot couldn't really tell much coverage that I was gonna have at first Hopefully it doesn't avoid my uh, big cannon over there. Oh, I don't even think we're gonna need it. 
the hive guys were taking care of business, as Beast Mode would say. Okay. We're gonna keep that power. Cannon here. <laughs> That's so cool, you can use that to run faster. Oh yeah, calves are here. Dunzo Rapunzel. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough one on the hard difficulty. Try to get this up. See where the boss is coming from. Maybe I can see him. Nope. Man, this is taking a while to go from four to five, which is expected. Cut that cannon up. It is a good thing I cut that cannon up. Alright, we got that one maxed out. Oh, he's done. He got that rainbow on lock. Can we make it back to the little chibis before we uh, black out? Yay, here they are. What's up, bros? You're good. <sighs> oh, yeah. Muy perfecto. Peaceful enough to take a break. Well, I still got to do this one on the hardest difficulty. Built 300 towers. 50,000 coins. Ooh, ooh. I like. We got the fire tower on lock. You can trade gems for fruits. Visit the mass maniac. That's cool. Did I do? I love this music. It's so soothing. It's soothing to the soul.
Sorry, I'm getting a little cray cray. Arrows are doing some work. Well, <clears throat> as much as I love the fire towers, we are going to abstain from using those little buggers. Since we do have some fireproof enemies on this level. Get wrecked. Comfy here. Getting a little too comfy. <clears throat> I gotta remember to use that rock too. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm a little parched. Oh, come on. These fuckers are gonna be going all the way around. Seriously. Go get these bad boys. Alright, now I got some more spiders coming. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Holy shit. Oh, let's hope my... Fences can hold up. I was trying to save up to uh, get a lightning tower built. Okay, I think we're good. And look at that. We absolutely are. Not one. But two. That lightning tower should wreck shop. Yeah, look at that. 
Those things are so badass. I didn't use them too much in the first one. The fact that you got this whole three-dimensional layout definitely makes a difference. Because the uh, span, like the area in which they covered, was seemed much smaller. And now, like when you build these towers on hills, you get extra distance. So that's definitely a huge advantage. I don't know if we should put a... Nah, I'm gonna hold off. That's a hasty fruit. Really, that doesn't reach. Really? Well, we might have a bit of a problem, boys. Ah, uh, so level three. That's when that bad boy grows. Fuck. And they are going the way I absolutely do not want them to go. Oh. Oh no. And we have some of the fly guys coming in. This is bad. Well, the defense is held up against the rocks. There's no way that this is gonna hold up. There's no way. <laughs> and I'll be damned. We did it! What do we got? I don't even know what's coming. All these fucking things. I was gonna say, I am literally completely reliant upon these little towers, these lightning towers to do some work for me here. Please tell me there's enough to get a hive going. Thank you. On the unfortunate side of all this, the hives take a minute to come up. Ah. <sighs> Oh, we got the rock, guys. Man, do I need that hive.
gem there. Try to get up a spot. I don't have an air defense tower. Let's hope the lightning towers can do some work here, boys. Oh, they only go against ground. Duh. Oh, it might be alright. really digging too how it actually tells you if you have coins in a certain area oh I'm sick short I wanted to get an ice tower over there That's a lot of spiders. Alright, somehow we're still holding on. up to at least three. You really don't have to go too, too heavy on your defenses. I was anticipating that it was going to be a little bit worse than what it actually was. Hmm. 
This might be a little rough. Should have got that can done sooner. Ooh, that lightning's not doing much at all to these guys. Come on, Hive. Do some work. for sticking a finger in my nose. I just like, I got like, uh, this itch. Ugh. It's driving me a little cray cray, if you know what I'm saying. This is before that air tower was doing work. It's so close. Okay, they're going around. We did it. Woo! I was getting a little nervous there at the end. I was getting a wee bit nervous, mate. Just a wee bit. Let's go say hi to the little chibis. No. Chibis, I'm coming. I don't know what I just did, but I did it. <sighs> Yeah, Kelly, we just did it. Gardan's Caves. I like too how they uh, brought character customization into the fold. You can change your shell and your mask. That's pretty sweet. Enemies won't drop gems. What? So there's two things here. I remember there was a stage like this in the original game. And they gave you a ton of gems to start with. 
However, if they do not do that here, then we're not going to be able to use anything other than the basic towers, like arrows, cannons. Too, there's a move, so... Oh, that's how you do it. You hit X. I was hitting circle. Taking a different path? Holy shit, that is a big map. can't get over how awesome it is that they actually have um first person view on this that's so sweet discretion is a must They're coming the other way. Wow, they got close to my chicks. Set up another cannon. Thanks, TV, for blacking out. Uh, 
A smoky fruit. These little fuckers tried to pull a trick on me. These little fuckers throw on balloons. That's actually really cool. different ways here. Holy shit. That's what those things do, yeah. Those things, you set them down in different places of the map, and if an enemy crosses over, they will alert you. Oh, shit. Houston, we might have a slight problem here. All because I didn't want to build up this freaking air tower in time. Don't have any gems to upgrade either. S O B.
dodged a bullet there, mate. Oh, shit. Yep, there's the smoke thingy. This can't cannon to do some work for me. We're chancing it. areas oh this is bad okay maybe it's not Use that to help with some air support. I need to figure out where the hell these guys are coming from. Mmm, that's a lot. another bullet there. in case anyone decides to come that way.
guess I thought there was a lot more coins than there actually were. Ah, oh, you can even see their shadows. That's pretty sweet, mate. Shit. Unfortunately for me, these guys are gonna be dropping pretty close to the mother base. Really? Really? Wow. Well, that's that. So, barring a miracle. Oh, my arrows are just shooting at the fucking first one. go and get a lot of arrows built up where those guys are coming from holy shit that's a lot of fucking a lot of stone monsters Didn't work out as planned, eh? Almost made that look cool. Almost.
pretty sure I put a cannon. Okay, there it is. Duh, this is a spot where these assholes are gonna walk around. Man, all my coins are dropping in the water. Well, I put those arrows in a good spot, but... Taking a lot of my coins here. That'd be really cool if they actually would drop these assholes in the water. Those big giants at the end. The stone dudes. Get a little bit of muscle over there. Yeah, there's only one there, so I bet you if the arrows do pop their balloons over the volcano, yeah.
seeing if, uh, actually, yeah, I should have a smoke bomb somewhere hidden in one of these trees. No, more of my water is going in the volcano. Four coins I have left, and I dropped some of them, and... Oh, Jesus. This uh, comment checked here. Let's see who we got hanging out with us. What up, Joe? No, I'm on PlayStation, my friend. Good old PS4. If by chance you are on PlayStation along the Switch, definitely feel free to shoot me a request, man. I'm all for it. No, I'm not on Switch. <clears throat> I just meant, like, if you also play on PS4, definitely shoot me a friend request, man. I wonder, I don't even know if this game came out for... I don't know if this game came out for Switch or not. Do you know? I wasn't sure if this was, like, an Xbox or... PlayStation exclusive or if it also came out on Switch. It should have come out on Switch like Ah, gotcha. I have so many towers there. Way too many.
really, they're gonna do this on me? No! No! They got him! Son of a bitch! Pardon my language. Well, even though they screwed us. Wow, that sucks. That really sucks. I lost one. One little guy. This does kind of seem like a Switch kind of game for sure. Like, I've never played a Switch, but I'm guessing if I had, this is what I would be expecting. Which is good. This game is insanely amazing. to experience the amazingness of Pixel Junk Monsters. I would have restarted as soon as I lost the one chibi, but I need to figure this part out. Like, I have so many arrows right there. So that's what we got to do. That one stupid bat had to F it all up for us. See how this last bat wave's gonna play out. Oh, I can't believe one bat. Well, at least I know how to get through that part. It just gotta load this area up with a ton of arrows. Bats are taking long enough to get here. <laughs> How did I get a gem? Uh, oh yeah, duh, I found one in the tree. That is a ton of bats.
And the arrows do so much more damage to them than the air cannons. Because if the air cannons were the uh, tell-all, I'd just build up a bunch of those. Where is Mario? Oh, you're joining late, bro. Mario's not in here. Like, we were talking about Mario in the beginning. And, um, like, kind of like comparing the similarities. Like, I feel like this game is kind of Mario-esque. And the fact that he makes similar noises when he jumps. Oh, this is going to be a painful bot. Or not. Alright, so we got a couple of spiders to keep an eye on. Dunzo Rapunzel. Yeah, so this game, to me, it just feels very Mario-esque. Like, especially for what I have seen on a lot of the new Mario games. Like, I know, I, I don't believe they have any actual, like, Mario Tower Defense games. But if they did, I could picture this being that game with Mario instead of the Chibis. That would actually be a good idea. Like, have a storyline where, like, Mario and Peach have a bunch of kids... And you are Mario protecting the castle from the Koopa Troopas. Damn, I should be a game designer. Wouldn't that be badass? That would be badass. Oh, it's all good, Joe. I appreciate it, though. I know how to go into third. Yeah, why not? Mario and Peach have a bunch of children running around in a castle. And Koopa and all of those bad guys are coming to get them. That would be so perfect. That would be so perfect to have a Mario version of Pixel Junk Monsters. Because you could have like the Koopa, like some of the cloud guys be the flying monsters. And actually, the base monsters you have in this game, I can't remember what they're called, but um, the guys that crawl around, they look like, uh, I can't think of it. What are those little brown mushroom things in Mario called? Oh, that's going to bug me. That is so going to bug me. Yeah, so I got this completely finished. See, there's a third difficulty level. Because I have two rainbows on all of these. Ooh, I don't think I've gone... Okay, yeah, I have gone up here, duh. This is where I just came from. Definitely can't wait to uh, hop into some of these snow levels as well. Those will be pretty sweet. 
But anyways, thank you for hanging out, especially you, Joe Mario. You're a cool dude, and I hope to see you back. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely day. We'll definitely be streaming this again later, so whether you're watching the stream or watching the upload after it goes live, I hope you enjoy. Give me some feedback in the comments below. Peace! Da, 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 da.